हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम प्रोफेसर श्रद्धा फिरके फ्रॉम बी के के वाघ आर्ट्स कॉमर्स साइंस कंप्यूटर साइंस कॉलेज काका साहेब नगर तानवड नासिक एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द टॉपिक फ्रॉम टी वाई बी एस सी कंप्यूटर साइंस सब्जेक्ट सिस्टम प्रोग्रामिंग फ्रॉम विच द चैप्टर फोर मैक्रोज एंड मैक्रो जी प्रोसेसर सो वट इज अ मैक्रोज मैक्रोज आर बेसिकली अ स्मॉल कोड्स एंड द प्री प्रोसेसर विल expand the macros during the macro expansion it will pre process the macros so during the macro pre processing or during the uh, macro expansion period there are some data structures used in the design of macro pre processor so that data structures are today we are going to study during these are used during the design of macro pre processor so there are total nine different data structures used in macro pre processing so we will see one by one the first one is macro name table that is mnt mnt is what it will keep the stores the names of macros defined in the source program so how many number of macros are given in the source program that we have to count and mention the names of that macros in the macro name table along with the different data that is what is the structure of the mnt there is a macro names then hash pp hash pp is what it is a number of positional parameters used in that macro then hash kp hash kp is what it is a number of keyword parameters used in that macros then hash ev ev is are the number of expansion time variables that are used in the macros then the pointer to the mdt that is mdt pointer then the pointer to the kpt kpd is what keyword parameter default table so from the keyword parameter default table pointer you have to mention here then the pointer to the ss tab ss tab is what the sequencing symbol table so the pointer to the ss tab is mentioned here so these are the different datas used in or stored in the mnt table now we will see the second table that is a parameter name table so what is a parameter name table called it is called a pn tab it contains the names of formal parameters from the macro prototype statement so what is a prototype statement when we are use, uh, when we have to um, show the macro on when we have to define the macro that definition statement is called as a prototype statement so there are the formal parameters defined in the prototype statement and the names of that formal parameters will be included in the parameter name table that is in the pn tab now the next data structure we will see that is known as a expansion time variable name table that is evn tabs there are two expansion time tables so we have to keep in mind that this one is what name table and the another in is what expansion time variable ta table that is ev tab only so what is a expansion time name table it contains the names of that expansion variables so what are the expansion time variables expansion time variables are the local variables or the global variables and that are declared using the lcl or the gbl fields so the names of that evs or the expansion time variables are included in the name table now the next data structure there is four data structure is related to the expansion time variables are expansion time variable table that is ev tab ev tab contains the values of the expansion variables during the macro expansions and it is denoted by the set keyword if we have to find the value of this expansion time variables then we have to find the set keyword in the program and after the set keyword which is the value given that value will denote the expansion time variable value so that value we have to include in ev tab next data structure fifth data structure is ss tab ss tab is what the sequencing symbol table so what are the sequencing symbols so this table contains the model statement number where the sequencing symbol appears in the label field in 
the MDT. So we have to enter here the MDT entry and in the MDT whenever there is a statement number and which in which statement the sequencing symbol appears. So wherever that sequencing symbol appears in the MDT that entry that line number you have to enter in this table. So what is the SS tab? SS tab contains the MDT entry. Actually it contains the table entry of the MDT and the line number from the MDT wherever the SS is included. Now the next data structure is what? Sequencing symbol name table. Now here is also SS tab and SS N tab is there. So whenever there is an N included you have to contain the name of that variable in the table. So it contains the sequencing symbol names and what are the SS? SS is what? Your sequencing symbols just like the labels. So labels are denoted by the dot preferred by the dot. So that variables you have to include the names of that variables into this table. Now the next data structure is what? A keyword parameter default table that is KPD tab. So these keyword parameters are mentioned in your prototype statement of your macro definition. So this will contain the keyword parameter names with their default values. Now we have know that whenever we declare the keyword parameters, we have to enter their default values in the keyword parameters with the keyword parameters. So whenever we are putting this keyword parameter table entry, we have to keep the name of that keyword parameter with its default value. And how you will find this? You will find this into a prototype statement of your macro wherever you have defined your macro in that prototype statement you will find this keyword parameter names and their default values the next data structure that is eighth data structure is what actual parameter table that is ap tab now before we have seen the parameter table or the parameter name table that is a pn tab so in pn tab we are actually uh, having the formal parameters so here we are finding the actual parameters so wherever you have where, where you will get this actual parameters when there is a macro call statement whenever you have given the call statement of your macro in that call statement you will find your actual parameters so this will contain your actual parameter names of every macro call and the memory will be released after macro expansion so that actual parameter names you have to mention here and wherever you will get so you will get that macro names in your call statement macro call statement now the last but not the least the ninth data structure is what your mdt mdt is what macro definition table you know that how you will define the macro we define our macro with the macro statement then your macro prototype statement then your statements of the macro and m end so in the mdt entry you have to put the mdt entry from the macro prototype statement is ignored the macro name is ignored and after the macro prototype statement everything along with the m end statement all these entries are included in your mdt entry so this will contains the labels, opcodes and the operand fields in what the intermediate form of your model statements. So whatever your model statements in your macro definition that all the statements are included in your MDT. But in what? In your intermediate form, not as it is. So how this intermediate form will define? So there are three different um, parts or three different representations for this intermediate form. So first is what if all the parameter names are replaced by the pair of form p and hash number where the hash number is what the number of parameter in your pn tab. So wherever you have defined the, your pn tab you will follow that pn tab for the mdt entry 
if there exists one parameter and you have to mention this parameter into your MDT then you have to replace that MDT entry as p and hash hash n or hash number is what the number from your pn tab wherever that uh, parameter appears in the pn tab so that ordinal number you have to mention here same way if there is an ev or the expansion time variables then that will be replaced by the pair of the form e hash number where this hash number is the ordinal number from the ev in the evn tab so wherever you have defined your evn tab that is your names of the ev then the number or the ordinal number from this table is mentioned here whatever it may be a 1 2 3 when whatever serial number or your ordinal number of that ev in your evn tab that will be mentioned here and same like for the ss ss is what your sequencing symbols sequencing symbols will be replaced by the pair in the form of s and hash number hash number is what it is an ordinal number from your ssn tab wherever you have defined your ss names in this table then that serial number or the ordinal number you have to mention in here so in this format you have to mention your all model statements from your macro definition in your mdt and as we have seen we have to put this mdt entries in the mnt table yes in the mnt table we have to put here the mnt or sorry mdt pointer entry so this is how your macro uh, data structures are defined in the macro process i hope you have understood this video thank you so much for liking and subscribing my channel